Okay, so in this lecture, we're going to continue on implementing the download functionality in our backdoor. In the previous lecture, we implemented code in the backdoor file so that when the user requests to download a file, the backdoor will open the requested file and send us the contents of this file. So right now, we'll be able to receive this content in our listener and the content is going to be stored in the result variable. So all we have to do right now is to write this content to file in our system so that we'd have an identical file to the file that is on the other side. So to do this, we're gonna need to implement a method that will write a file for us. So we'll call this method write file. Now this method will take the path, so the file name, and the contents of the file to write. Again, in order to write a file, we're gonna use the with keyword. We're gonna open. The file that we want to open is something that doesn't exist. So it's just gonna be the path that we get as an input to this function. And the method of opening this file, we want to write to this file. So remember, when we were reading, we put an R. When we want to write, we're gonna put W. And since this file is gonna be sent as a binary file because it's being read as a binary file, so we're gonna type WB for binary. And we're gonna reference this file as file. And then once this file is open, we're gonna do file.write. And what we want to write in this file is whatever we get in the content variable as input to this function. And that's it. Now we have a method that takes a file path and a content. It'll open this file path and then write to it the content that it gets as an input. And finally, we're gonna return a message saying download successful. Now, like I said, the file, whenever the user enters download, this will be sent to the backdoor. The backdoor is gonna be able to read the file and send its content. The content is gonna be received in the result, but instead of printing this result, I'm gonna add a check in here, and I'm gonna say if the command, if the first element of my command is equal to download, then what I want to do is I want to write file. So we're gonna do self dot write file. And what we want to write is whatever we get in the result. So we want to write the result. This will execute my write file. It'll write the result as the content. It's gonna return download successful. So I'm actually gonna make the result now is equal to whatever is returned from my download file. And then this will be printed on the screen to the person using the listener. So let's have a quick run of what's gonna happen when the user enters download followed by a file name. This will be captured in my command. It'll be split into a list in which each word is an element in the list. We're gonna send this list to my backdoor. The backdoor is gonna go ahead. It's gonna read the file and send me the content of this file. This will be captured in my result variable. Then we're gonna check, is the command download? If it is, then we're gonna call our write file method and we're gonna give it the result as the content, but I forgot to give it the path or the location where to save the file. So this is gonna be, again, it's exactly similar to what we used in the backdoor. So it'll be the first element of the command list. So it'll be command square brackets one. So my write file now is gonna open a file that is in the path passed to it. It's gonna reference it as file. It's gonna write the content passed to it, which is the result to this file. And then it's gonna return download successful which will be captured in here and then printed to the user on screen. 
So that all looks good now. Let's go ahead and test our code. So I'm gonna start my listener and then I'm gonna run the back door. And as you can see, now I have a connection. If I do dir, we'll see all the files and directories that we have right now. And the file that I wanna download is a simple text file that we opened before and it's just called sample.txt. Once I download this, this will actually be downloaded in here because this is the working directory of my listener. So you can see that this is in my home, PyCharm projects, reverse backdoor, and my listener is actually in here, which is the file that I'm running right now. So now let's try to download the file by typing download sample.txt. I'm gonna hit enter. And we get a message telling us the download is successful. And you can see that we have a new file in here. Let's open it and see if it actually has the right content. And as you can see, it has the right content. It's the full file. It's not part of it. And it's an identical file to the one that we wanted to download, which is this file right here. Now, I just want you to keep in mind that I know this is a backdoor, but the way that we transfer the file between the client and the server or between two computers is always going to be the same, whether you have a backdoor and the listener, or if you just have any other program, for example, a chat program where you want to transfer files between the users of this program.